Hello folks, your old buddy Gerald here. Today we're going to talk about whether or not you need a six string bass. Okay, now I know everybody would love to have one, but there is the ups and downs of having a six string bass. And it might be disappointing to some of you guys, but maybe you'll understand the concept behind these six string, seven string bass guitars. Okay, um, for me, myself, I'm a lead player. I like playing lead guitar melodies and you know piano and stuff. So when I first seen a six string bass guitar and I heard it, I was like, hmm, man, I need one of those. Because I'm about playing instruments differently. Okay, here is my 1999 Ibanez SR306 six string bass active system. Got the active EQs. Everything's on the fly, so I don't have to run over to my amp and add more bass and run back over here. I can stay right in one place at one at, a, at all night if I'm playing on stage. Okay, this is a beautiful guitar. It's almost 20 years old. All it is is just a clear coat, polyurethane clear over the uh, bare maple body. Okay, so that's really cool. That's all it is. It's just a clear coat finish over that wood. That's really nice. Really looks good. Okay. So, I picked this up for 225 bucks. That's crazy. Okay. Um, these right here are kind of hard to find. They still have like, a, they have a 206 model. And they have the, the new version of this. The 2017, 2018 models. That you guys can go check out. Those are like 450, 500 bucks. But, you want to find something that's cheap. You know. On eBay, you got the 206 for like 299, 300 bucks or something, and that's a smoking deal for a new bass, pretty much. Or just look on eBay or Craigslist for a good six string. But before you get one, maybe you'll understand that these things, that a bass guitar is designed for low notes, not anything high notes, because it kind of defeats the purpose. You know, if you're playing up here, you know. It kind of defeats the purpose, you know, let's say that you have, I don't know, you just have mids, that you have an 8 inch speaker, and then you have some, some horns or whatever, and you don't have any 12s or 15s in your vans bumping your, bumping your music, well it's kind of defeating the purpose without having a bass, I mean, when you put in that big 5000 watt amplifier system in your car, and you don't have the grunt, you don't have 12 or 15s in there, yeah I like 15s in my ride. <laughs> yeah, thump your chest and I'll laugh at you. Oh, oh, you know, thump you, thump you in the chest and hurt you right here. I love it. So, <laughs> okay, um, so, but the six string has got just it's got a high C string. Now that's not going to be much for bass, unlike the other strings, the B, A, D, G, and E strings. Okay, so you know, you just have to realize that that guitar right there is used, should be used for like playing melodies. Okay, you know, like a seven string electric guitar. Okay, but right here is the standard bass that every that you guys that you guys use. Okay, this is the uh, four string bass. You just got four strings. Okay, these strings have had it. These strings have been on this guitar for since I bought it back in 2014. The strings are probably 10 years old. Okay, but notice these strings are thick. They're not like a regular six string acoustic or electric. Joe, do you like six string acoustic bass? Do you like. Um, acoustic basses. No, I do not. I do not care for a six string. I don't care for an acoustic bass. I just don't. They're they're kind of stupid in my book. I just I've played on my just don't, I just don't care for them. A, a, a bass acoustic bass guitar is the stupidest thing I think I've ever heard. Okay? If I'm going to have that, then I'll just get a big upright bass and do it right. Okay? You know, just get you a big upright bass and go to town with it. That's the probably the best acoustic bass. But the acoustic guitar basses like this, no, that's that's total garbage. You can't get no sound out of that. Okay. 
these right here will beat them anytime. <clears throat> okay, this right here is my Ibanez GSR 100 base. This right here is kind of really hard to find. Um, I've only seen one of these on eBay before. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> the four string base, it's the typical. This thing is light, you know, it's probably six, seven pounds. It's not, it's typical. You guys, you guys could play this all night long comfortably. And it's and there. And there's not so. And there's not much room for expansion. You know. Okay. You can't get the full range of motion. <clears throat> you can't get the full range of motion like you can with the six-string bass. Because the six-string bass has got the has got the uh, has got the grunt to do it with. Well, Joe, what about a five-string bass? Would you recommend a five-string bass? Well, that's a good question. <clears throat> Because if you have a six string bass, I don't see why you would need the room for a five string because it's already here. <laughs> you know, unless you just love guitars, unless you're crazy out of your mind like my buddy James who wants all the guitars, period, who wants a thousand guitars and don't know what to do with them and just drowns in them. <laughs> but um, five string basses are great. So, yeah, so my buddy James is a, is a guitar to anyway, so. There's no helping him, there's no helping me. A lot of you guys are guitarded too, so. But definitely me and him both are. So, there's no helping him. <laughs> That's right. So, a five string bass is kind of okay, but if you have a six string, then that's taken care of. You know, you wouldn't need to go spend more money because you got the five string here, you got a four string, you got it all in one. So, the best part about a six string bass is you could have one bass to do it all, to do regular bass, you know, in the band, to do lead stuff, or somebody says, hey man, can you do me a lesson on the five string bass? Sure, but we'll just leave the uh, C string off. Okay, <clears throat> so, but that's a good thing, you have all the, your bass guitar right here, a six string bass would last you, would do whatever you want it to. <clears throat> you know, a seven string bass is kind of crazy, it's kind of getting kind of ridiculous if you kind of if you play that stuff because then you have a high F and that's really high. Okay? I mean you can go some crazy crap. Like I said, the bass, the main idea for a bass is to have low end grunt on, you know, to be a subwoofer. It's for someone to rattle windows. Okay? Now, like I said, these things are great, but a lot of times you're not going to be using that high C string if you're just playing regular bass, you know, like wall space or rock bass. You're not going to be hitting, you're not going to be all the time hitting that high C string. It's just not bassy enough. So to use this as a regular bass guitar, no, it's I wouldn't I don't recommend that because it's a bass if you're going to play it as a bass guitar, then play it as that. <laughs> okay? Because if you're playing these high C, if you're playing a high C note and you're in the middle of a bass solo, well that's kind of totally different. But if you're behind all the music you'll go boom, 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 boom. If you're doing that, then you're not going to want to stay on that high C string. You're going to be wanting to get on these heavier strings and crank up your bass and make yourself be heard. Okay? Because it wouldn't sound right. Playing this, playing on that high C string, and you got bass on it. It's just not going to work. <clears throat> okay, because that G string would be all you need. Now, if he was going to play this bass as a lead, if he was going to play the six string as a lead, well, that's totally different. Then you turn all your bass off, and then you, you play on your low strings, and then it'll sound like a baritone guitar, which is kind of is. Okay, so that's where this thing would really shine because you know, like if you're doing you know, Queen of Memphis, uh, by a Confederate Railroad, uh, Clint Black, Killing Time, you'll notice that there is some very low notes in there, okay, or George Jones, um, Heartaches, the, uh, well, that one song, um, the Winner Loses All, the, uh, that one, um, you know, the Mavericks, all you ever do is bring me down. Uh, Doug Stone, ain't worth a dime. You know, there's guitar parts in there 
that have low tones. The bass guitar will give you that. You won't have to sacrifice another one. Okay? So, if you're going to play lead bass, <coughs> and I've showed you this before, that's the purpose I've got this thing for, was not to play it regular bass. If somebody called me tonight, and I would be like, and they said, Gerald, we need a bass guitar player to play this weekend. Okay, well, will I take this? No, not really. Because, well, one, it's heavy. It's too heavy, you know. You know, because I'm there to play bass. I'm not there to play lead bass. I'm not there to play lead or anything. I'm there to play to play bass. So, I will have a fix for that. I wouldn't take that guitar. Okay. I wouldn't take that one. I definitely wouldn't take this one. I've never taken this guitar outside only to move it here. But I've never played this guitar on stage. I've never played this guitar in public. Nobody's ever seen me with this guitar except for you guys here on YouTube. Okay? So, I will show you what I do about that. Somebody called me up and said, Gerald, we want you to play bass. Well, all I'm going to do is, so somebody called me and want me to play bass. <laughs> well, here you go. Yep. This is my this is the new my new Dean Edge 3 bass. Okay. It's got the Active 3 pickups as well with the uh, Active EQ system. So just like the six string bass, I've got a four string bass that can that can do it just as good. I don't need the other two strings. Okay. I can I can play this all night long and it'd be comfortable. Okay. But I notice I don't have the low B string. That's okay. And the low B string would just be for luxury. Okay. But there is some songs that require, you know, that that end with the low B string. Okay. But you know, you can get you can get the same you can get the same effect, you know, it's just the five string bass, yeah, those those are great. It just doesn't have the uh, it just doesn't have the high C. Okay, so a five string bass would be great too. But notice with this one here, um, this this is amazing. This is an amazing bass. Okay, uh, this is about four hundred bucks, brand new. If you guys try to get on eBay or your local music store and pick up one of these things, yeah, this is a little chunk of change, but it's light. And, you know, you just wouldn't need all that full range of motion. If you're playing in an old fogey band, or, you know, if you're playing in something that doesn't, you know, then a four-string bass would be great. Then, you know, because you're playing regular bass. It's kind of hard to play lead bass on this, okay? But see, I look good doing I look good playing, my, playing bass anytime, okay? My buddy James has got the axe bass, and I've got the edge bass. So, don't mess with us. We bad. <laughs> so, um... But it would kind of defeat the purpose of having like a five string bass because, you know, if you have a six string bass, you know, and you just re remember that you're there to play lead, then you could take a six string bass. You know, I'm not saying that you could. This is just the way I do it because I can show off with this thing right here. Okay. You know, like if people are falling asleep or whatever and I want to hear them, I can crank that bass up and I can shake their chair. <laughs> you know, but... This right here is all that you would need. A four string bass would do you justice. Like I said, you can't do. It's just, it's, you know, regular four string bass. You know, you don't get no better than that. Okay. But to play a bass, have you a good one? You know, like this one or the axe bass or a. Uh, Pun or the or the uh, Punisher bird, Punisher bass, um, but you guys, it's just thanks for hanging out here with me today or whatever. Um, it's just awesome. Um, but like I said, just keep just take that into consideration that you know a six string bass may not be good for you. But then other but but the other time but the other factor is. It could open up a whole new world of possibilities for you, and then you won't want to go back to a, to a four string, or you won't want to play any other kind of bass. A six string bass would be for you. And there's guys that's been playing these for years, you know, and they've got it dialed in pretty good. You know, just got to know the instrument, know what the instrument is about, 
and uh, just have fun with it, you know. Know that a four string bass is not much for doing lead stuff. And I've done lead stuff with this before. It's tough because you don't have high, high tones. And on the six string bass, seven string bass, I mean, you got all kind of possibilities. But that's where those are played is with like lead situations. Or if you just wanted to, if you've seen somebody walk in, walk in with a six string bass around their neck, then you're like, oh hell, that that guy means business. It's it's uh, it's gonna be old. See, that's me. That's what I like. I like to take it and to, to kind of show off a little bit to put on a show if I'm doing lead bass, okay? But you know, I would take that anyway. And then if I wanted to, if you know, it's just I like playing multiple instruments on stage. I'm just not a keyboard player or guitar, okay, or banjo or whatever. So I'm versatile, you know. I can play the jug or the juice harp or whatever, okay? But the six string bass, you guys just, yeah, go check these out for yourself and see what you think. Like I said, don't let it intimidate you because it's, you know, it's just a bass guitar or just two more strings, okay? But ain't that a pretty finish? This is like the metallic green burst. And I call, I call this thing uh, mean green. <laughs> and I've got the matching guitar strap to go with it, okay? But... Overall, the six string bass is a nice bass, but if you don't ever use that C string, then it's kind of not what you would need. Okay, but if you have, but if you want it, the six string bass for like lead or whatever, and uh, just play around with whatever. It's use it however you want. But like I said, the sole purpose for a bass guitar is to have grunt, you know, and then lead bass is uh, totally different. Okay, but yes, you can have two bass guitars in the band. Okay, so hopefully that right there cleans up some hype for you guys. Maybe it'll clean, clear up some stuff and, you know, you guys go check these out for yourself. Oh yeah, I'd love for, I ever, for all y'all to have a bass guitar. Six string bass. Okay, like I said, even a five string bass, it just has the low B string. Okay, but if you have a six string, then if you use that low B string and it's for less money, then by golly do it okay so anyway that's my little take on things i'd like to hear what you guys think and i'll talk to you guys later your old buddy gerald you guys have a great weekend i'll see you here in a few days bye bye